Hey, welcome back everyone. Kareem here today. We're talking about an old principal from Dan Kennedy, a direct marketer from in the olden days. This guy is known as a pretty big copywriter, still alive and kicking last time I checked. And he said something in business that I thought was pretty profound at the time that I found it a while back, a while, while back. He said that business in business, rather in business, you only have two problems, one of two problems, either have a capacity problem or a marketing problem. And <laughs> he said the problem that he'd rather fix would be the marketing problem because he actually knows how to fix that problem. Now, what did he mean by you have a capacity problem or a marketing problem? Well, a capacity problem is a little bit more obvious. A capacity problem means that you simply cannot take any more clients, customers, you're booked to the hilts, you're bursting at the seams in your calendar, like you can't squeeze another sticky note or page in there. You can't close it. You you can't fold it. It's like people are just lined up to give you money. They're kicking in your door to give you money. You've got them lined up. You're good to go. Like there's nothing more that can be done. Like there's nothing more to do other than to hire a small army of people to get the work done. That's called a capacity problem. The other problem, on the other hand, is called a marketing problem. You don't have enough people. You look in the lobby of your business and it's empty. You look at the phone and there's crickets. You look at your calendar and it's wide open. Like there's nothing besides eating and sleeping on your calendar. You know, basically bare necessities. <laughs> and what Dan suggested was that he'd rather a marketing problem because that was something that he knew how to fix being a marketer, of course, right? Direct response marketer. He probably knows how to fix the marketing problem. So he was saying that when you have a capacity problem, the solution is to raise your prices and to get rid of some of those people, right? So let's use a scenario where there's a bunch of people flooded the lobby of your restaurant. You decide to march in and say, hey, look, everybody, the prices are all increasing right now by 50%. Have a nice day, right? Now, a nice chunk of those people that just heard that statement are going to do one of two things that there's only two things you can do. You can either continue to stay and wait to still order your food, or you could turn around and walk out the door. And a nice big chunk of those people probably will do that because they're like, yeah, what, well, 50% more? And there's no value added there as far as they're concerned. But really, it's just that this is an excellent way for you to be able to justify raising more prices because now you get more less people paying about the same amount as all of those other people. So now the same amount of staff would, I'm not going to get into the restaurant business here, but I think you get the point. The same amount of staff would be serving a smaller amount of people, but their same salary would still be getting paid and then some, right? Because you could probably find the balance where it's like, okay, 50% less, we need this amount of people to make the same amount of revenue and pay overhead, pay, you know, cost of goods, et cetera, et cetera. The other problem he was talking about was the marketing problem, where it's like you actually, you go into the lobby in your business and you're like, well, damn, there's nobody in here. You know, like you go in the lobby of your restaurant in the waiting area and a tumbleweed blows past, right? And sand blows in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, and you hear like the whirring of the breeze as it blows past. There's nobody there. In that case, you have a marketing problem, in which case all of your time, every waking hour that you have, as far as he was concerned in this analogy, needs to be spent acquiring customer and customer acquisition, i.e. marketing. You need to be doing marketing all day, every day, all the time, because what, what the hell else are you doing? You don't have any, well, you really don't have a business if there's nobody there to actually do transactions, right? Again, we're sticking to the restaurant model. If there's nobody in the lobby to buy any food, it's like, okay, you'd go out of business very quickly, shortly thereafter. And he was saying that here, the juxtaposition is that, and one, you don't have enough business, and the other is that you have too much business. And he was saying that his preference is to have not enough business. In other words, the person who started off with too many people in the business got rid of a bunch of them by simply raising prices. He now has to now fill that same lobby with more people paying the higher price. 
That was his whole spiel there. That was the whole point. Now he does have a marketing problem because now you got to get it back bursting at the seams with more people willing to pay that higher price. Now you back to having a marketing problem, like the person in example one who didn't have anybody to begin with. It's a cycle. It's like an Ouroboros, you know, the snake eating its tail. It just goes in a cycle. And such are the ebbs and flows of business. And with that, Kareem, see you tomorrow. Peace.